cultivating rest the place of prayer and spiritual travel isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 to 12. it says for with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to these people to whom he said this is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest and this is the refreshing yet they will not here when we speak in tongues it is a code amongst us for unbelievers to see because they cannot understand they know that this set of people belong to a sect which is the body of christ and they are believers and what he was saying was he was calling them into a place of rest the rest there is not a physical rest like you lie down to sleep no he was prophesying about the dispensation of the holy spirit that will come where men would have been reconciled to god and the spirit of god will live and dwell in men and men will have access to the mysteries in god so that men can live and act like god on the earth that's what the bible calls rest the reason why the Bible calls this rest is because from the fall of Adam, the glory of God departed from mankind. Mankind began to live and survive by the flesh. The strength and the life that is in the flesh, which is limited in its capacity. But when Jesus died on the cross, he introduced into us what we call the Zoe life. That the life of God can be infused into mortal flesh. That a mortal man can live the life of God. The quality of that life can be expressed through a mortal man. That means that men will begin to do supernatural things naturally. And men will also begin to do natural things supernaturally. The Bible calls it rest. In other words, when we, we have transited from this realm to a realm that has higher power, higher energy, higher possibilities. A realm that is without limitations. When we begin to live in that place, the Bible calls it rest. But you see, it says with stammering lips and another tongue. That means the way into that rest is through a code, a mystery. That mystery is the prayer language that the Spirit of God supplies to believer. The rest and the refreshing. And you remember in Acts chapter 3 verse 19, Peter spoke about times of refreshing that will flow from where? The presence of God so one of the problems with this new life that is in us by the holy spirit is that we can experience refreshing refreshment is needed by those who are weary and by those who are tired which is natural living in this human body but when you are able to activate that mystery of stammering lips and another tongue which is just speaking in tongues which is praying in the spirit when you are able to activate it the bible says you will experience rest and you will experience refreshing that refreshing comes as a result of the presence of God that a believer has access to. So the language of tongues is our means of accessing spiritual refreshing and edification. It's more than just praying. As you pray, two major things are activated in you. Number one, you are experiencing a refreshing in other words there is a renewal going on inside of you spirit soul and body how many of you know that praying in the spirit affects your entire being because god's will is that we change we have been saved in our spirit and our minds are being saved as we expose it to the transformation that comes through the word of god and you know what transformation means it means change and the reason why god is interested in changing us is so that every part of us will carry that life of the spirit of god that is in us every part of us will be affected by the power and the possibility that is contained in that life for instance in that life there is no sickness in that life there is no poverty in that life there is no death yeah the bible says that we have passed from death unto life in that life we live in dominion over satan over situations over circumstances we are no longer victims of circumstances we are now creators of circumstances and opportunities that is the reason why god wants every part of you to experience transformation experience change and be conformed to that life that is inside of you 
that's why he made it simple for us that as you pray in the language of the spirit number one you're experiencing refreshing there is a renewal happening in your mind happening that's the reason why when you pray in the spirit if you have a culture of praying in the holy ghost you discover that more of the visionary realm is activated most of us call it imaginations but i'm here to tell you that it's not just an imagination it's vision Im your imagination is the realm of spiritual visions even god has imagination and when the bible says so god created man in genesis chapter 1 verse 27 that creation there what happened there was in god's imagination to tell you that as far as god is concerned if it has happened in your imagination then it is real and it can be translated into the physical because the reason why god created the earth is so that everything in the realm of the spirit can be transported to find expression on this earth so if the bible is talking about riches in glory then there has to be a system by which you can convert those riches in glory to manifest in the natural so it is when you pray in tongues that you experience renewal refreshing and edification the edification there means to grow or better put it means to be conformed to a reality that has been presented to you when your natural form begins to take the form of the spirit of god that is inside of you so god begins to translate you from one level of the supernatural to another and so you may still look like a human being in natural but the potentials you carry in the realm of the spirit are well able to change things in the natural that is what happens when you pray in the language of the spirit and that's the reason why satan fights praying in tongues and let me just give an answer to i don't care wherever your doctrine came from let me just give you an answer if you go anywhere and they forbid you to speak in tongues let me give you a scripture with which to answer them first corinthians 14 verse 39 you'll be amazed that this scripture was in the bible now let's read on the screen one two go therefore brethren desire earnestly to prophesy and because if you extract speaking in tongues from our christianity there's no christianity again there is no way you'll be able to you'll be able to activate the mechanism of transformation that will move you from operating and living in this natural realm to living and operating in god's realm paul said in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 i pray that your spirit soul and body there's a transformation that must happen to the whole of your being so the rest is the prayer language that the spirit of god supplies that is how we we'll tap into that rest how many of you want to translate from a life of labor to a life of favor philippians 2 13 says it is god who is at work in you not you you know why people struggle to live the christian life you know why they've not entered into the arrest it is god who should work out that righteousness through you the bible says it's god who is at work in you to both to will and to do according to his good pleasure that means the only way you can please him is allowing him to walk through you when you enter into this rest it is god that will use you to work out things that your imaginations cannot calculate and that your speech cannot create beyond all your prayer requests and beyond all your dreams there is a power that can be at work in you to make you do beyond those things you imagine and beyond those things you are saying so it is you that is still working it's just that it's his power at work through you that's why i told you last week that this is the year where you will go from experiencing signs and wonders to becoming the sign and the wonder yourself so the rest for them was a physical location canaan but in the new testament just like the israelites were brought out of egypt we were brought out of the bondage of sin for them their rest was canaan for us the rest are heavenly places in christ for them the promise was a land flowing with milk and honey for us the promise is the holy spirit so the reason why god stopped walking was because he had created another to walk while he was resting that's why he said let them have dominion god rested because he created another being to continue from where he stopped and so from creation man started walking 
but in the new testament because of what jesus christ has done god has invited man to join him in the rest for us when he's saying labor to enter the rest he's not talking about physical labor no this labor is in the spirit this labor is in another dimension this labor is with stammering lips and other tongues I've given you this language so that when you pray, as you begin to pray in tongues, you think you are just making noise. But something is changing in your reality so that you are entering into the rest that has been promised you. And that rest is the Spirit of God which was given to us. By taking advantage of the code of praying in the Spirit, there are things God has prepared for those who love Him. But the Bible says these things no eyes have seen, no ear has heard. That means these are things that translate beyond the natural. It is the Spirit of God that is the revealer of these things. These things that we have freely received, that is being revealed to us by the Holy Spirit, they are actually things that we communicate because in the realm of the spirit words are not just for communication words are for creations every reality that exists in the realm of the spirit exists as a word every command in the kingdom is a b command not a do command the holy ghost teaches us words by which we can transport the reality of these things that have been given to us because remember that these things are not physical things that's why eyes have not seen ears have not heard them an enjoyment that has not been revealed to man the bible says is the holy spirit that reveals it to us the bible says these things are coded in languages he said these languages or words are not in the wisdom of men the languages of the spirit is used to transport reality so when you are speaking in tongues what is happening is you are transporting a reality from the storehouse of heaven you are forcing to manifest a reality that has not been seen on earth this rest is simply the full experience of the life of god in his son that is made available to us at salvation by the holy spirit and when the holy spirit comes to live inside of you at salvation he switches you to begin to experience the quality of the life of god that is now inside of you there is a culture that governs that life there is a kind of reality that that life is used to the quality of your life as a christian is how much of heaven is trafficked in through your life per time and the cheap way by which you can transport what has been kept for you in heaven the riches of his glory which is the rest is by praying in the spirit so every time you you pray in the spirit you are not just speaking the language of the spirit you are speaking codes these codes are opening up vault boxes in heaven and releasing into your life according to the will of god activating rest the place of prayer and spiritual travel now that you understand that the rest is the experience that the holy spirit affords you in the kingdom and that praying in the language of the spirit is what gives you access into it how do i activate it the bible says as soon as zion traveled what does it mean to travel to travel simply means to deploy the energy of the spirit that facilitates the transportation of spiritual realities into the natural deploying the energy of the spirit deploying the energy of the spirit so when you take advantage of praying in the spirit what you are doing is there is an energy that your prayer generates that energy is able to create or is able to translate a reality that already exists in the realm of the spirit so when you are in the place of prayer as you are praying go beyond your asking god to seeing that you have deployed spiritual energy so that what you are asking can be translated you will end that prayer thanking him because you know it has already been done the transfer has been successful is that not what they say on your bank app sometimes somebody can transfer money to you and it shows transfer successful and there has been there's no alert yet on your phone it doesn't mean that there's not been a transfer there's been a transfer
it's only a matter of time and then your phone vibrates and you see that there's an alert so when you pray you must understand that you are projecting into your desired rest as god has determined for you this year change is not a physical agent it is spiritual the physical only expresses the change that has been made as soon as i on travel what are you believing god for my question for you is how much travel has been deployed many prophecies and promises on our life when was the last time you deployed the energy of the spirit to see it manifest lazy christianity is what and of course lazy christianity is ignorant christianity so we didn't know the things we know now so we don't know that when you go to god in prayers you don't go complaining you go to partner with god to see the manifestation of your expectation now many of us carry prophecies and promises on our life how many times have you traveled to bring its manifestation the bigger the size of what you see the greater the energy that must be deployed a mecano 20 kva generator is different from a 5.5 kva gasoline generator why capacity you must travel to bring forth you must travel to prevail at the time of delivery the woman experiences pain they call it labor pains just the same way when it is near a season for certain things to manifest around your life that's the period where you will see all kinds of confrontation from hell that's when you begin to see all you will see the reverse of what you are expecting and then the devil will lie to you that this thing will never become a reality meanwhile what you are experiencing are labor pains the reason why you are going through what you are going through is because your time has come but there is a labor for you to bring forth there is a travail that travail is in the place of prayer there is no great destiny in this kingdom that is without traveling there is no dimension of experiencing rest round about even the coming of jesus in luke chapter 2 there were two people who had to travel spiritually in fact one of them he so traveled in the place of prayer that his prayer shifted the date of his death the bible says of simeon that he will not die until he sees how many of you are deciding that this year i am not going to die until i see all that god has written concerning me this kingdom is not for those who give up no when you go to pray as you are communing with god praying in the holy ghost god will give you a word concerning that need that word that god gives you huh is what we call the revealed word or the rema word that word that God gives you is what your faith will be built on. That that thing will be released. It can come as a vision. It can come as a dream. It can come as a spoken word. For instance, you can be praying and God will tell you, you will get married without debt. That's a word. And you are believing God to get married soon. That's a word you have received. And you, don't, you are not even working. Yet God said you will get married without debt. You catch that word and begin to incubate it in prayers again. Because the source of a thing determines its sustenance. That word came to you to crystallize your faith. But remember when Jesus was teaching faith, he taught faith in the analogy of a seed. He said if your faith is as a mustard seed, do you eat a seed? No, you plant it. That means when that word came to you, it was not enough to manifest. Just the way when a man sleeps with a woman, something is produced in that woman. It's called a zygote. That is not enough to be called a full baby. It needs to go through a stage of maturation. In medical science, they call it embryology. It needs to keep growing, keep being incubated in the womb of the woman. So you take that word that God has spoken to you and incubate it in the place of prayer. And then it keeps enlarging. It keeps enlarging till your, it, it swallows up your spirit and your mind. And you believe God beyond every reasonable doubt. From that point, you will find yourself begin to declare it. Because you see, the reason why many people are, they are ashamed of declaring what the scripture says, say by his stripes I'm healed. The reason why many people don't declare it is because they are ashamed. And the reason why they are ashamed is because they don't yet believe it. It has not become a reality to them. When something is a reality to you, you talk about it everywhere. You begin to declare it, declare it in prayer. You begin to prophesy it. That's what we call calling those things that are not. As you continue in prayer like that, God will now give you an instruction. Okay, what you are praying and declaring, the reality has been created. But for it to manifest, do this, do this. Because faith without works is dead. So there's an obedience you will deploy for what your faith has conceived to manifest.
you want to walk into this year and experience rest round about this is a strategy you must learn to be able to activate things in prayers you must learn to create your own reality step away from the reality the negative reality of the people around you and create your own world create your own space define your own possibilities joshua said as for me and my house i don't care what other people are saying when men say there is a casting down i will say if you are ready to travel this year you will collide with certain things that were supposed to come in 10 years some of you god has created you to be routers spiritual routers your presence in a place will create certain po people can pipe into some possibilities because of you you can fast track the destiny of a woman a lady that has been suffering from delay in marital settlement you can show up in their life and fast track them to their destiny that your presence can lift certain course off are you ready to pray it's wherever you are i want you to open your mouth and pray in the language of the spirit as you pray you are traveling and you are bringing forth something you are bringing to birth the rest that God has promised you are bringing forth all that God has written concerning you you are determining the season the time you are creating a time frame for the manifestation of certain things for blessed is she that believes but there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken to her we look to Yahweh Yahweh, it was Kapata, 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 Yahweh, Kapata, 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 you are created for signs and wonders. You are made from Kuba and Bebekapa, and the Kuba, 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 and Labor to